I'm scrolling through the Washington Post the other day. I come across a story about magical healing crystals. So any headline that doesn't contain the phrase dumb motherfuckers is going to fall short of acceptable in my mind, but I guess it could have been worse, right? So it reads, healing crystals are having a pandemic moment. And right below that, there's a subtitle that says, science says they're just pretty rocks. Now, if you're going to write about magical fucking rocks, that's not terrible. The word healing is in scare quotes, at least. And we're all of 11 words in when the reputation starts. But one element of it still struck me as worthy of discussion. What are the words science says doing there? I mean, I'm sympathetic to what the writer's trying to do, right? She's a wellness writer for the Washington Post. So she's speaking to an audience that's more liberal, more affluent, and whiter than the general population. She's speaking to the primary market for healing crystal purchases. And she's trying to say that shit don't do nothing without pissing off readers so much that A, they reject her commentary and or B, they stop getting their wellness information from the Washington Post. And that's a noble endeavor. You know, being right doesn't help much if you can't present your argument in a way that people will listen to it and in a venue where they can find it. And the whole article reinforces this goal by very gently taking fucking moon whisper Johnson by the hand and guiding her away from the new age bookstore. She presents the arguments of pro-crystal folks and tenderly rebuts them with quotes from very confused geologists and shit. Uh, Here's a great example. This is from a mineral sciences professor at Penn State named Peter Heaney. Quote, it's a tricky question because the answer is yes, with respect to Einstein's mass energy equivalents or with respect to thermodynamic conceptions of free energy and crystals. But... Crystal healing posits that there's an energy transfer between crystals and people, and there is simply no scientific foundation for those assertions. End quote. But best intentions aside, okay, the inclusion of the science says clause in the title still sticks in my craw a bit because it subtly reinforces this ridiculous idea that people accept scientific findings on the authority of science. You know, like, I mean, as though we're conforming to the conclusions of some scientific body or panel of experts rather than the observable universe. Sure, science says that crystals can't heal you or protect you from disease, but so does everybody else who isn't fucking wrong. Science didn't speak that knowledge into existence. Science observed it. Science noted it. Science confirmed it. And when we say stuff like, but science says X, we ever so slightly endorse the idea that some other motherfucker gets a say in shit. When science says X, the options are to agree with X or to fucking lie. I mean, all the woo merchants are fond of saying that, you know, science isn't the only way of knowing about the world. And that's true in so much as you count the wrong ones, too. If you know about the world, you got there through the application of science. It may not be because you listened to a science teacher or read a science book. You may have just applied the scientific method on your own and deduced that, I don't know, it fucking hurts when you touch that burner. That's also science. All deduction is either scientific or flawed. I I mean, it can accidentally be correct, too, right? Like you can postulate that there are stove demons that get angry when you deign to cook food with their roof and curse you with pain. But I think we'd all agree that it would be careless to toss out a headline that says some think you can appease the stove demons, but science says temperature exists. See, the problem is at the same time that you're giving Moon Whisper a benevolent little push, you're also arming her with the means to ignore it. Science says X is an invitation to remind us that science doesn't know everything. And I fucking hate this one because, yeah, science may not know everything, but it knows more than your dumbass Moon Whisper. There ain't nothing your fucking Reiki healing, tarot reading, crystal gazing hippie knows that science hasn't quite puzzled out yet. Same goes for your priest, your preacher, your rabbi, and your imam. And while we're at it, your favorite science communicator, your favorite college professor, and the most knowledgeable goddamn human in the history of the fucking planet. Science shouldn't be invoked as an authority. It should be the metric by which authority is measured. Right. Like, but that's not the world we live in. We live in a world where science says means, at least to most people, that a bunch of people in white lab coats consulted their oracle of beakers and declared it so. And until such time that we can eradicate that misunderstanding, anybody tempted to write science says might want to consider using one of science's many applicable synonyms like in this example, reality. Reality. 